Dave Rudden. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> what a great start to your career as a young adult writer. How do you feel about winning this award for Knights of the Borrowed Dark? Uh, my heartbeat is through the roof. Uh, I, my adrenaline is just, I don't know, I'm not making any sense whatsoever, so I apologise in advance. Uh, I'm delighted, I really am, this is amazing. Now you're following in a long list of illustrious writers, I mean, you know, Owen Colfer, all these names that are so familiar to us, Derek Landy. How do you feel about being on that list now? Um, I'm more worried about what they feel about me being on the list. Uh, no, Owen Colfer is lovely. Um, it's, it's a real honour, like I kind of have to process it in really small sort of bite-sized pieces. So like uh, the book hasn't been out that long and so like every time I've seen it it's really like pristine but like I had a kid come to me in about the other day and like you know when you really love a book and you read it to pieces? Uh, he comes and he's like, I really like your book. And I was like, yeah, you've been chewing on it, I think. So it's only the really small things I can sort of process. It's really, I don't know, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Give us the bluffer's guide to the Knights of the Borrowed Dark. Um, you know when you watch a horror film and you see the main character run upstairs, and you're like, why did you run upstairs? Have you never seen a horror film? This is that for like kind of middle grade kind of fantasy. My, my main character, Denison, has grown up reading stories where kids get magical powers and are asked to do things and he doesn't even like sports. So he's like, please, please just leave me alone. I have no destiny, I'm terrified. So yeah, that's, that's basically the book. Excellent. So your sequel is... <laughs> that wasn't a good answer. I don't it's know. Fine. It's a very long book. Just... <laughs> Can I tell you that one of the reviews that Dave Rudden got was full of attitude, beautifully set up and executed. Rudden is an author to watch. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> you are now an award-winning author to watch. <laughs> oh, I can totally say that now. That's great. I, I'm going to carry this around like my tiny glass baby for the rest of my life. It's going to be great. What you can do now is go into all the bookshops. You're from Cavan, aren't you? I am indeed. And put the sticker on, Irish book winner, you oh, see? I totally can. That's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> Finally then, where are you with your next book? So book two is done and dusted. There's more monsters, more terror, more anxiety, more kind of like magic and fun. And then I'm currently halfway through the second draft of book three, which is sort of like, you know, when you're putting your tent back into a bag after a festival, the first couple of zips have gone okay. And I'm just like, get into it's going fine. It'll be fine. It'll be grand. <laughs> Promise me you will never go get therapy. No. <laughs> Keep writing, because we need it as your reader. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dave Rupp. Thank you.